We are back. I'm in the kitchen now with Chef Bill Fuller, the executive chef for the Big Burrito Restaurant Group, and one of our favorite guests here on PTL. Today we are making tasty vegetables to help with those New Year's resolutions that people like to make, you know, eat healthier, lose weight. So when it comes to making vegetables taste good, that's the biggest challenge for me is making them taste good. How do we do that? Well, I mean, the best way to make vegetables taste good is put a bunch of oil and cheese and things on them. Okay, but that's not always good for us to eat healthier. I know. Well, okay. <clears throat> a couple of the problems <laughs> that people have with vegetables is yes. under seasoning. Okay. I mean, food needs to be seasoned to taste good, and so a little salt and pepper goes a long way. I agree. Um, like this Brussels sprout salad that I have made over here, it's yes. got fresh honey crisp apples, dried cranberries, okay. Brussels sprouts, and some chopped lacinato kale, and this is lacinato kale. I was going to ask you what this yeah, was. I saved it for a demo. Lacinato kale. Also called dinosaur kale. Also, you know, it's good. It's, you can eat it raw. It's delicious. Don't, if you do it, you're going to eat it on all your teeth, so you might want to avoid that. But I'm you can. Try you a little Give it a shot. Bit. Okay, keep going. Um, it's good. It doesn't taste like much, but okay. It's got a little, a little sour to it. A little. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, and I dress that with a, a nice vinaigrette with a little bit of garlic and lemon. Okay. And um, olive oil and red wine. So it's but making sure there's a mixture of flavors, and you can see in here, you know, there's some nice apples and cranberries. I love a nice fruit in my salad. I think that helps. I knew that. The, that's, the why I made, that's, that's why I made that, that for you. That's why I made that for you. and apples, yeah. actually. Like I know, and it's kind of wintry and kind of good. Yes. All okay. right. So that's, what, that's our one dish. Um, yes. I love carrots. I like carrots. Carrots don't get enough play. Okay. So, so this dish, what I've done is I've just taken some nice carrots, and if you go into your... Uh, if you go in the produce section, often in the organic section, they have like the smaller, nicer carrots. Okay. Now the big bags of carrots are nice. Is that cottage cheese that you? We're gonna in? get to that. Okay. <laughs> it's it's uh it's some nice nice whole milk ricotta. Oh nice. The, the big carrots are perfectly fine for whatever. But. but if you want nice tender carrots, get the little tiny ones. Okay. And so these are some, you know, yellow and red carrots. Yes. And. Uh, I roast them in olive oil, salt, and pepper. And they again, look really well seasoned. They are. Just, you know, I sprinkle a little salt and pepper on them, and I drizzle a little olive oil. I'm going to add a little bit of that to the salad. And you can see the olive oil turn nice and orange from the carrot. Okay. And then I have here, I have some sliced garlic with some orange juice and some orange zest. Oh. And I just mix that up ahead of time, and I'm going to drizzle that over there to give a little freshness. Okay. Because another thing, too, is if you can balance your cooked flavor of your vegetables with a little bit of fresh flavor. Some okay. parsley. Parsley out of my yard still. Really? Still. In January. In January. Well, we, okay. ha we haven't really had winter yet. Fingers crossed it stays like this. What's that? And these are just pistachios? crossed pistachios. Okay. All right. Oh, that's good. And there's a nice, simple carrot dish. And it really took me no work. I did it all this morning right here yes. on the TV studio kitchen. And so that's perfectly easy to eat. May I? And you can start those. And we'll make item number three. Okay, what's item number three? So item number three, and we get a little meat. Oh, good. And so one of the things that's always, you know, comes up on these lists for dining in the new year, or food trends in the new year, is they talk about the Mediterranean diet. And what's the yes. Mediterranean diet? You eat lots of fruits and vegetables, you eat whole grains, you eat fish and seafood, and you eat a little bit of meat, and the meat you eat is supposed to add flavor rather than be the core of the dish. Oh, okay. And though, for those of us who eat a big pork chop or a steak or whatever, that kind of hurts. Yeah. But it's also nice to eat that way sometimes. Everything in moderation. Including moderation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so, I got it. So I have here some, some French green lentils. Mm, this is a really little bit. A little bit. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. One down, two to go. Some lentils I cooked. Okay. Some tomatoes and some fennel. And this is, this is pancetta vinaigrette. So what we do is. A is that hard to make? No. It's just uh, vinegar, lemon zest, lemon juice, a, a tiny bit of sugar, um, and leftover pancetta fat. And pancetta is an Italian bacon, an unsmoked bacon. Okay. And so when we cook it, we save the fat and use a, a, a portion of the bacon fat and extra virgin olive oil to make this dressing. And it's got to be warm, otherwise the, the pancetta fat solidifies. Okay. And so we're going to dress it on there. And so here, here, here's the meat we get to have. Just a little bit of bacon fat. Oh, bacon fat. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's just, a, well, <laughs> just, it's all, just a little bit. It's, it's also with meal. extra virgin olive oil. Okay. Right. So check it out. Yes. A tablespoon of pancetta fat. Okay. And a tablespoon of olive oil. Okay. Is the same amount of fat. 
tablespoons of tablespoons. Tablespoons of tablespoons. Yes. Now the cholesterol part, that's a whole ah, different story, but we don't need to think about right. that because we're, we're both really Everything healthy. Everything in moderation. Right, including cholesterol. <laughs> so tell me how you, no, I mean obviously you're the executive chef, how to combine things like, you know, lentils and tomatoes. Do you go for like the sharpness and the flavor? Do you think you go for something that balances out? So when I was making this menu today, I wanted to have a lot of vegetables. Yes. But I was thinking about if this were going to be a meal. Okay. Where is, you know, where is some, some, you know, some denseness come from. I mean, this is carrots. Okay. I mean, a few These of those. Carrots is good. are great. I'm really enjoying them. Okay. You eat the Brussels sprout salad. It's kind oh, of Brussels sprouts. I'm going to try that too. Okay. But what is there to, to fill you up? And like, I always like to go to lentils. I feel like they take 20, 25 mm -hmm. minutes to cook. Um, they're small. They're nice. Nice lentil soup is always good. Nice lentil soup is always good. They mix okay. and they mix well with bold flavors. And so this, of course, is some of the pancetta. Yes. And then we're going to top it. With? I'm going to go Michael Jackson here for a second. Oh, oh, the, he's putting on the glove. I'm going to try this salad while you do that. And then I'm going to take some goat cheese and crumble it on top of this salad or this oh, dish. Oh, goat cheese. So now yeah. you get a little bit of, you know, creamy goat cheese mixed okay. in with the creamy pancetta dressing. And it's all good. Oh, that looks delicious. I'm going to try that too. And, and so go. this can be done. I mean, they're side dishes, but they really can be a main dish. And so this could, this could be, you know, if you want to look at this as a meal, you know, you have two sides and a main. If you look at sort of the lentil dish as a main. Okay. And cal that in my calories mouth, are really calories. Good. No, please do tear it up. That's why. That's why you're here. <laughs> yes. Um, and of course, I'd love to say that you know I cook vegetables a lot at home. I struggle with the kids. It's tough. I, I mean, I don't like kids. veggies, but I know I need to eat them, and I have to be an example for my children. So yes, there you go. And I have to be an example for my kids. So I've tried over the years to eat more vegetables. I still have an, I have a, I have a 17 and a 15 year old, and I have not been able to crush the not mushroom yet. barrier with them yet. Oh, mushrooms are so good. Yeah, they won't eat the mushrooms. I try to sneak them in, but don't sneak them in on your kids because oh it just my makes goodness. everybody mad. See, this is the kind of vegetables I could eat. Well, good. But like if I'm at home and I'm not gonna, you know, whip up all of this, I need some ideas to actually put some things together to make it taste good. So the, the Brussels sprout salad, yes. you can buy cut up kale okay. at the grocery store doesn't in a bag. It doesn't have to be this. What doesn't is this have to be that. Again? The lasinato kale Lassinato or the dinosaur kale. kale. It doesn't okay. have to be that. Right. But you can buy cut up kale, cranberries, yes. use some salad dressing that you like, Okay. slice up an apple, and boom, it's done. Okay. Tell me what the topping is. That's just walnuts. Just walnuts. Just walnuts. I chopped them up. It's really good. And coming from a person who does not eat a lot of vegetables, it, it, I'm being honest, it's really good. good. All right, Bill Fuller is the executive chef for the Big Burrito Restaurant Group. For a copy of today's recipes, go to kdka.com ptl. Bill shares those recipes with you there.